Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. We continue with our topic of discussion, the structure of the atom and the periodic table. So today I would like us to discuss about energy levels and electron arrangement. So we earlier learned that uh, electrons are found in regions called energy levels. Electrons are found in regions outside the nucleus called energy levels. And those electrons are arranged in a particular way. They are not just scattered within the energy levels, but they are arranged in a, in a particular manner. So we are saying that uh, electrons are arranged in regions outside the nucleus called energy levels. The arrangement follows some rules and these rules are one an energy level must be fully occupied with electrons before electrons can be pushed to the next energy level. So you must first of all fill uh, the innermost energy level uh, before you can move on to the second energy level. So the innermost energy level must be filled before moving to the next energy level. And we are saying that this first energy level carries a maximum of two electrons. So if the, if the electrons are three, then two will be filled in the first energy level, then the remaining one will be pushed to the next energy level. If the electrons are five, two, which is the maximum for the first energy level, they'll be put in the first one, and then the remaining three will be put on the next. So the first energy level must be filled first before moving on to the next. Then you go to the second. The second energy level also has its maximum. This one carries a maximum of eight electrons. So it cannot go beyond that. The second energy level carries a maximum of eight electrons. So if the electrons are 10, the first two will occupy the first energy level, and then the remaining eight will occupy the second energy level, because the second energy level can carry a maximum of eight. If the electrons are more than 10, let's say they are 12, so 2 will be put in the first energy level, 8 will be put in the second energy level, that makes a total of 10, and then you are left with the two electrons, those ones will be pushed to the third energy level. So <clears throat> we also go to the third energy level, also has its maximum. The third energy level also carries a maximum of eight 
electrons for the for the first 20 elements for the first 20 elements we'll discuss later which are these first 20 elements but we are saying that for those first 20 elements the third energy level cannot exceed a maximum of 8 the third energy level can only uh, occupy a maximum of 8 so we're going to have uh, an illustration of that So that is the nucleus. And then we have the energy levels outside. And this is how we fill the electrons. So the first energy level, we are saying that this one carries maximum two electrons. Then the second energy level This one carries a maximum of eight electrons. And the, then the third energy level carries a maximum also of eight electrons in within the first 20 elements. So this is an atom showing the energy levels so you'll have an example an atom of oxygen has eight electrons show the electron arrangement so an atom of oxygen has eight electrons we are supposed to show the electron arrangement so we are going to have So we have the nucleus. So the first two electrons, we shall put them in the first energy level. So we shall use two crosses to represent the electrons. So of course here we have the protons and the neutrons. And then we are, after putting two, we are left with six. Out of, out of a total of eight. So the remaining six, we'll put them on the second. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is an oxygen atom. And we write it as O two electrons in the first energy level and then comma six electrons in the second energy level so we cannot have an energy level without electrons so we remove this one so an energy level must be occupied with electrons
So this shows an atom of oxygen. So an assignment. So the assignment using dots or crosses to represent electrons. So we can either represent electrons using dots or crosses. Here we had used crosses. We can also use dots. Illustrate the electron arrangement in nitrogen with seven electrons. So you'll draw the structure of nitrogen showing the arrangement of seven electrons. Sodium, 11 electrons draw it there and then calcium with 20 electrons you draw and show the arrangement so we're going to stop there until next time goodbye <laughs>